Next topic is about data node is out of service. What happens when a data node is out of service? This is a common scenario in any cluster or data center. Let's take an example. Log.txt file is stored in HDFS. All data nodes of the cluster are active. First replica of all the blocks of this file is stored in data node 1. For some reason, data node 1 is down. Name node will not receive heartbeat from data node 1. Name node will wait for 10 minutes and then decides that data node 1 is out of service. All the blocks from this node will not be available. Fortunately, replicas of these blocks are stored in other data nodes. In our example, data node 5, 6, 7 and 8 has replicas of log.txt file. But the cluster is now under replicated. That is only two replicas of all blocks of data node 1 are available. As a result, name node schedules a job to create new replicas of those blocks. This job will copy replicas of those blocks to different data nodes. In our example, Block ID 1 is copied from data node 5. Block ID 2 is copied from data node 6. And block ID 3 is copied from data node 7. And finally these blocks are stored in data node 2. After blocks are copied to data node 2, data node 2 will send updated block report to the name node. This block report now includes block ID 1, 2 and 3 of log.txt file. Using these block reports, name node updates block location mapping in its main memory. Hence it knows the new location of all the blocks of log.txt file. Note that the job scheduled is a map reduce job. We will have a separate session for map reduce.